Today I'm going to show you how to take colors from your background and put them on your foreground elements in a composite to make everything more realistic and generally awesome. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nays. You can find me on Twitter at AKNaser. Today we're doing something that's going to really help you guys out if you're doing any type of compositing. That's like taking a foreground image and combining it with a background image. We've got a great image by Dean today. And Dean, you want a Flurn Pro because we're editing your image here on Flurn. What we're going to be doing is take some background colors and apply them to the foreground. And in this case, it's a subject and that's going to help everything really blend together. It's a quick episode, but it's something I think is going to really help you guys out. So basically, here's what we're doing. This is our image by, uh, by Dean and it's very, very cool. Um, this was taken, I'm guessing, I don't know a whole lot about the image, but um, I'm just going to guess that this was taken either in a studio or on location, but this is a composite of the uh, foreground subject and the background. Now, one of the things that we're going to talk about is basically combining these together. And Dean's already done a really good job at combining these together. The, the colors and everything like that, they look pretty good and everything's cut out. Um, everything's cut out very well. There's just a couple of things I think we can do with the color that's just going to enhance it a little bit more. So it can be kind of hard to figure out like what needs to be done with an image like this. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to say like, you know, if it's not perfect, is it maybe, is it too light or is it too dark? Like the, the subject is compared to the background. Um, is it, more or less too saturated is the hue wrong. Um, so one thing I start off by doing is I'll just create an adjustment layer. We're going to go up here to um, channel mixer. There it is. And I'm going to click on monochrome. Basically, this just turns our image black and white. And from here, you can get a good idea of like, does this image look right in black and white? Does it look like it, everything matches? And uh, it really does. It looks good in black and white. So we know if there's any issues here, it's not having to do with our light levels because this is all we can see is our light levels. We can see light and dark. So we can see that's not where any kind of itch, an issue is. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new layer and we'll do an adjustment layer and we'll just say, make it a solid color layer. There we go. And we'll fill this with a bright red. Now I'm going to change this layer from normal down to hue. Okay. So changing our layer from normal down to hue, what this is going to do, this might be a little bit, um, a little bit much to get your head wrapped around, but basically if everything is the same hue, you can see, you can see turning this off and on. Basically all I see now, I see my lightness. I think I see whether things are light or dark, but I also see the saturation of things. Um, if there's color, then it means it's relatively saturated. When there's not a whole lot of color, things are, well, they're not really saturated. Um, kind of self-explanatory, but I'll, I'll kind of show you guys a little bit more. Okay. So in this area, you can see our background and right over back in here. This is a saturated area. We can actually see the color. And because everything is the same exact hue right now, it's not really that confusing. Now in this area, we can see there's not a whole lot of saturation. The sky looks pretty gray and we have a little bit more saturation. So I'm going to put an up arrow here. We're going to put a down arrow and we're going to put an up arrow there. Same here. This is saturated. This is desaturated and this becomes saturated again. Now our face is a little bit saturated. So we can see that there, this area is desaturated. It comes pretty easy to see. Now, one thing that we want to do to make sure that everything blends together is to make sure the saturations of your foreground element, whatever you're going to be doing in composite, match the, match the saturations of your background. So this is just a really easy way, this color fill layer is set to hue. It's a really easy way to see everything. And we're just going to delete that layer. Let me make a new layer here. So our goal here right now is to make sure that the saturations of our subject, because the light and dark look pretty good, we're going to make sure the saturation of our subject matches the saturation of the background. And that's going to make sure the composite really does come together. So here where we have like our sunset or uh, sunrise, and it does have relatively saturated colors. Um, those colors would reflect off of the wetsuit of our subject here. So we have a relatively saturated area here but this is relatively desaturated. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this color and apply it over to our wetsuit. And that's going to make the composite even more realistic. It's going to make it look like those colors really are affecting our subject. Now we're going to do the same thing with um, like the shadow areas of our wetsuit right here. We're going to take some of the darker areas of our sky and apply those colors onto our wetsuit. So basically what we're doing here is saying that, okay, we've got saturated areas you know, right over here, we just need to apply that to our wetsuit. And it's really not that hard to do. So the color fill layer is just a way to see what needs to be done. And now I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just grab a brush tool, B for the brush tool and hold alt or option and sample this color. So we're going to sample the color right from the background and we're going to make a nice, large, soft brush. And basically we're just going to paint right over top of our wetsuit here. There we go. 
All right, looking pretty good. So that's basically the start of what we want to do. The next thing we're going to do to make sure this blends in a little bit better is we're going to change our layer blend mode from normal. We're going to go down here to soft light. And that's just going to make sure it actually like lights up the subject. It blends with the um, it blends with the lights and the darks in a way that you can see changing from normal. It's just kind of like blankets everything. Soft light just kind of applies the color and um, a little bit of the lightness. So it looks a little bit better. Now this is a little bit too strong of an effect. So what we're going to do is just lower our opacity down to something that's a little bit more, um, there we go, something that's a little bit more in line with what we want. Next we're going to go ahead and take some of our background colors. So we're going to take like this like deep red color here and I'm going to paint that in some of the dark colors here that are on our wetsuit. We're going to change this again to soft light and we can see kind of the, some of the color being brought into there as well. We're going to do another layer and let's take this blue color and I'm going to apply this to like around back and maybe along towards the top. So it can be a little bit tricky. I mean this image is um, relatively straightforward but when you're trying to figure out where colors actually reflect, think of things like a chrome ball. Like it's towards the top of the ball it's going to reflect like the sky and things above. Towards the bottom it's going to reflect the ground. So the top of the wetsuit would reflect you know the colors up here. This would reflect the colors on the side. The bottom would reflect colors from the ground. Um, so doing things like that, let's just change this again from normal down here to soft light as well. Doing things like that are going to make sure all the colors from your environment are then reflected back into your subject, which is going to make for an image that's a little bit more, um, the color wise is going to match a little bit more. Let's turn this color fill layer, layer back on and we can see, let's just shift click the three of those uh, groups that have the soft light, turning these off and on. So we can see how the colors now, instead of looking like this is a totally desaturated area, the colors actually like blend in with our environment a little bit more. We can see that saturation is in there just like we want it to, which is really nice. Let's just turn this color fill back off and we can see the, just turning this back off and on, we can see here's the before where it looks relatively desaturated and there's the after where the colors start to really blend. Now I didn't go in here and put a layer mask on there. That's something you guys can do. Um, we all know how to do that, hopefully, if you've been watching Florin for more than today. Um, if you haven't, just click on your layer mask button right here and then paint black around the edges because we don't really need to uh, color our background here. This is, this is for our subject. So we're going to make sure that this is only visible where our subject is. There we go. And we'll just look at the before and after. So this is a really quick thing that you guys can do on your composites to make sure that the background is going to be a similar. Uh, it's, the colors of the background are actually going to affect your foreground. And um, very cool effect. Didn't take a whole lot of time. We can even lower the opacity a little bit more and we can see it really does have a nice effect on the image. So that's it guys. Very quick and simple. We had a really cool webinar yesterday with Photo Shelter. We did retouching. If you guys missed it, not a big deal. We were going to post the link to where you guys can view it on their blog. We're going to be doing that on Facebook, Twitter, and when we get the link we're going to put it down here on this post as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching Florian. It really means a lot to have you part of the family. We'll see you later guys and I'll learn you later, guys. I'll just see you later, learn you later. How's that? I just say that no normally now in conversations when I'm talking to my mom. All right, see you later, learn you later. Bye, mom. Love you.